Mr. Speaker, this being a very harsh decision, may I ask the Honourable Minister why an emergent decision to reduce taxes on diesel could have provided a solution not to raise the bus fares in Mauritius? Mr. Speaker, sir, the decision to reduce taxes on diesel does not depend on the Ministry of Land and Transport. I will ask the Honourable Member to, to, say, to send a parliamentary question to the Minister responsible for the structure and for the price of, of, of gas oil and more gas. Uh, the decision is a decision of government involving the Minister of Finance because the bus fares relate to two issues. One is the budget for the free travel, and second, the budget for the BCRA, that is the recovery for bus companies. My question is, why, it's a government decision. So he cannot, uh, the honorable minister cannot tell me, ask me to refer to another minister. It's a government decision. My question is again, why, when he presented the case at the, at, in cabinet, why government did not take the decision to reduce taxes on diesel, saving so much trouble to so many people because 500,000 people Now you already made your point. Every you already made buses. your point. Speaker, sir, uh, I am sure that the honorable member is aware he has been a previous minister of transport, now being a member of this house, and he has been there for years. The transport industry Mr. Speaker, sir, is heavily subsidized by government, as it is the case in most countries of the world. And this level of subsidy, which is provided to the industry, Mr. Speaker, sir, the Honorable Minister member knows, is, is related, is correlated to the cost of the operations of the bus industry. That is, the major components of, of the subsidy relate to the cost of diesel and wages and other benefits. And this subsidy, the Honourable Minister knows, or the Honourable Member knows also, is channeled through this bus company recovery account, the BCRA, which was set up in fact in 2004. And this fund is, this fund is funded through a levy per litre of 1 rupee 60 per litre from the price structure of Mogas and gas oil. And the revenue obtained in the fund varies, of course, with the volume of Mogas and gas oil which has been sold and, and consumed. And the expenses which are to be detected from the fund and, uh, and given to the different bus operators vary with a differential in the price of diesel and wages and other related uh, benefits. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Honourable Member and other members of the Opposition have complained about this increase. But may I remind him and all of his uh, colleagues and friends, Mr. S uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, that in, f that in fact, the, at the time, he himself was Minister for Land and Transport from 2014 to 2019. The revenue contributed to the BCRA was much higher. In fact, 880 million uh, rupees were being injected into that fund. And the BCRA, which was initially set up to compensate for the, the bus operators for increase in price, was finally also utilized to compensate operators for the increase in the wages and other related benefits of the, of the workers. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the Honourable Member and the House should know that the last time fares were increased were in 2013. And in fact, during that time, during the period of 2008 to 2013, Fares were increased in 2008 and then in 2010 and then 2013, but from 2008 to 2013, the quantum of the increase during those five years was from four rupees to nine rupees. And today we have increased from five rupees to 10 rupees. But the percentage was 31% at that time, just as this time, Mr. Speaker, sir. So from 2008 to 2013, for a period of five years, the increase which intervened after five years was 31%, just as today the, the, increase, the average increase is 31%, although 
The stretch of time is nine years this time, because last time it was 2013, the loss increased, and today, nine years after, we have increased the tariff fares by 31%, just as it was done for the period of five years, from 2008 to 2013. And the more so, Mr. S uh, Speaker, sir, to answer the Honourable Member, at that time, at that time, the price of the litre of diesel was, uh, uh, was 37 rupees 95, and it had increased to 2013, after five years, to 43 rupees 95. So what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to prove, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that the price of diesel was lower even during those five years when we compared what, is, what has obtained today. In fact, from 2008 to 2013, the increase has been only was six rupees per litre, whereas during these past two years, the increase has been from 2019 to now, 14 rupees 60 depuis 2019. Pendant les deux dernières années, the fuel price has increased à 14 rupees 60 when we compare to what happened during those five years, 2008 to 2013, seulement 6 rupees, Mr. Speaker. So the average is the same, 31%. So the Honourable Member, I think, should look at the figures of the past before, or any other member for that, for that matter, be, before coming to challenge. There was no choice be, after nine years, Mr. Speaker, and the Honourable Member knows that the Singapore Corporate Enterprise, when he was Minister, produced a report saying, Mr. Speaker, sir, that tariff fares should be reviewed regularly so that we should not uh, invite such a, an unaffordable increase after so many years. But we have managed to increase the price by only 31%. Same as under the Labour government from 2008 to 2013, although the price of diesel was much, much, much lower at this time.